And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another meme deck. We're going to be playing some Nightfall, which is a, a really good normal deck, but we're going to be playing it with a twist. We're going to be playing it with Out of the Way. So Out of the Way is a five mana slow speed spell that says for the rest of the game, allied buffs except for barrier are permanent. And then you also draw a card. So all of your buffs are permanent for the rest of the game. So the reason to play with this with Nightfall, and there's not like a ton of amazing stuff with it, but it's we can do some cool things. And like the, the biggest thing we can do is with Diana. When we, we level up Diana very fast, we're just playing four Nightfall cards. And then whenever Diana is leveled up, it gets plus two, plus zero, and Challenger this round whenever you play another Nightfall card. But if you have out of the way, it will just keep getting those plus two, plus zero buffs, keep the Challenger, and so you can turn a Diana into being a very, very big attacker permanently. Other things we got. We got Stygian Onlooker um, that gives the plus two, plus zero, and Fearsome, and that'll be that'll be a forever. So it'll just be a 4-1 Fearsome for good. That's going to be pretty cool. And um, another big one is Cygnus, right? Like Cygnus with the given ally elusive this round, it'll just be elusive all the time. So you get permanent elusive with Cygnus. Now to try to add in a little bit extra, um, oh, I guess the other the other main thing is Pill Cascade. Forgot to mention this one, obviously. The the Pill Cascade, of course, this is this is the, the other real big one because, um, you know, you want to play a lot of Pill Cascades, get the plus, plus two, plus one, a permanent buff. And then to, to kind of make it a little cooler, we're also playing Shroud of Darkness, this card that normally wouldn't play, normally wouldn't be good enough. This um, looks like the Batman symbol, <laughs> kind of, right? Like it looks like the um, the spotlight with the Batman symbol in it. That's what I see whenever I see this Shroud of Darkness, but the, the bat signal. But anyway, uh, the next time that you play an ally this round, give it plus one, plus zero, and spell shield this round. But with out of the way, that spell shield and that plus one, plus zero will be permanent. So you can give some uh, permanent spell shield to like your Diana or your Nocturne. So that could be pretty cool too. Um, let's see, that's, that's a, uh, going to be it so that's going to be that's going to be what we're going to try we're going to try a you know aggressive nocturne deck but with out of the way so we're going to be playing it over in normal of course that's what we always do with our meme tier decks if we go four and oh like we did with the iceborne spiders then we'll play the fifth one over in ranked and try to finish out the five oh with that yeah that is stygian onlooker yep yeah that is stygian onlooker the uh the other card. Let's mulligan the Doom Beast. I'll keep the rest though. We got the dogs chilling. That's Puppy back there. She's curled up sleeping. We have Harvey who's over here kind of watching the stream a little bit. Uh, see, there's Harvey. She's watching the stream. Also laying down chilling. So doggos are here. All right, we got out of the way. Don't have anything to do with out of the way yet. No more hiding. All right, Solar Soldier will be permanent three three. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be casting the out of the way this turn. Black Market Merchant. I wouldn't mind finding some Pill Cascades. Draw some Pill Cascades. There we go. How about that? We could also find like some Unspeakable Horror to kill the Black Market Merchant and give me a new another Pill Cascade. Okay, Cygnus. Permanent Elusive. Good, good. So I can play Cygnus this turn by going Dust, Cygnus. That would give the Solari Soldier a permanent elusive. 
The only thing is like this powder keg. <clears throat> eh, maybe we do that. Let's do that. Cygnus, how I missed your light. Thank the mother you're all right. What have you learned? So these are all elusive for good. All right, first attack. Grog if you work, burn if you don't. <laughs> Peony says, "You say this is a meme deck, but any deck running out of the way, the objective best five mana draw one in the game is God tier." Fear not death. Puts me down to five. Then, you know, we'll be draining, trying to stay alive. Perfect. Love finding Stygian Onlooker, just four one fearsomes. Fear the power do not see. We were peaceful once. Okay, so seven mana, four, five, six, seven. I guess I don't have room for all of those. Their scent travels on the night air. Hmm. <laughs> so that would leave us with. Give me three spots. So for this to level up, I need to attack with four Nightfall allies. So that'd be one, two, this would be three. So we need one more, so we need a fourth. Um, it's basically just you know, whether or not I want to play Pale Cascade. Like that's that's the main thing is like, do I want to play Pale Cascade or another onlooker? I think I just play the Pale Cascade and keep this alive. It attacks for more. Um. Okay, Stalking Shadows is the card they stole from me with the Black Market Merchant. If they allow us to attack, these all have these. These will all gain Fearsome, and they don't have any blockers. GG's. This one was elusive, still from the Cygnus. Was a little too fearsome. It has only just begun. And look at that, out of the way actually did some good work. So is this going to be a Professor Von Yip deck? Mayhaps. Yeah, I could see this being a Professor Von Yip deck. Um, I want to get some cheaper cards. Than just having all three mana things. It's kind of hard, difficult to turn on a bunch of three mana um, Nightfall cards. All right. Pass. I pull the strings. I guess you do. I guess you do. Waiting to play the Stalking Shadows next turn to be able to turn on uh, Nightfall. And hopefully finding something that costs three or less mana. I just have the one Cygnus in here. Shade Stalker. Invisible to the air. Playing Shade Stalker, like Doom Beast is kind of better to play here, but I'm playing Shade Stalker instead because I like having the two mana. 
available. Sisters. So I just kind of like, kind of like that. Ooh, out of the way. What's out of the way gonna do for us? It's gonna be great with the Pale Cascade. It'd be good with the Cygnus. Um, it is me taking a turn off where I'm not sure if I want to take that turn off right now. Solari Soldier is like the easiest on turning on the other ones, but then something like Doom Beast or Crescent Guardian is gonna be more powerful. Let's go with the Crescent Guardian. See if they see see if they have another thermogenic beam. They just played. Cool. Basically using Nocturne as four mana Sejuani. Basically. Okay. Okay, so go hard. So they're going counterfeit copies. Go hard. That's what they are doing in life. I know this can allow them to kill my Nocturne, but I just want to play this out of the way. We'll just get it out of the way and have that for the rest of the game. Finding details is my duty. Dang, ten, 10 cards. No, that Pill Cascade was going to be so good. Oh, that Pill Cascade was going to be so good. Alright, so we're playing three two mana cards. The sun children deny our light. <clears throat> I'd like to file an equipment request. Another lake proof pen, Hoffner? A new moon rises. And sea descends on feeble minds. Unseen, unheard. They tried to blind me with resplendence. But they could not break me! Yeah, they'll level up Nocturne. I will be heard! The so Nocturne's gonna be a 6 2. They can block with the 5 6. Kill Nocturne. I mean, I guess they can just block with the 3 2. But... Oh, well, we got leveled up Nocturne now for future Nocturnes. Level up Nocturne is super powerful. Alright, so Diana has Challenger forever. And now each time that we play something, we get to buff Diana, and then we get, we're get we going to have Cygnus on Diana. Man, all of these things are Nightfall. <laughs> I don't have any enablers. I guess I'll just play the... I don't know. I don't love using this, but I also don't love just not spending any, you know, not spending any of that mana. Observe and learn. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? <laughs> of course. Observe and learn. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? All right, they just found a pack your bags. Alright, so that Diana will die. Mana. 
Wish I had more, so I guess I'm not going with the Cygnus this turn. We're gonna try to take out the, the Zevi first. Cause like I could go, like I could go Cygnus right here. But that's not lethal yet. Let's just take out the Zevi first. I could use two of me. All right, so those are both fleeting cards. So, some treasures. Next turn, this Diana is going to be very lethal. So yeah, basically all, all we need is them just to draw. If they just draw a pack your bags. Well, I guess or a uh, go hard. I guess they have two two draw steps though. Arise in our time of need. Right, so we don't get to we don't get to open attack with the Cygnus. Well, no, we can't open attack because I can play the Cygnus on their turn. Right, because it's not at this round because the out of the way. So yeah, I get to play the Cygnus this turn and then open attack for lethal. Um... Probably not going to kill me from three with me having an unspeakable war. Probably not. So even if that's like get excited. Night descends. It was a rummage. All right, GGs. So two games we've seen out of the way actually do actually look pretty good both games. All right, looks like we got like a Teemo Wayfinder deck. Um, this could be earlier, like the Teemo Wayfinder that we played only had Teemo as the only champion, so maybe that is this deck. Never know. Um, definitely mulligan that, and I guess I am keeping the rest of these. <laughs> Oh, the name's Punny. Sorry, my bad. We each hold a <laughs> he said, you don't know why everybody makes that mistake. I guess it'd be because Punny is not a word. So that's why people don't go towards Punny, because it's not really a word. At least that was for myself. Alright, we'll play that. We'll pass priority. Lump of Wumps. Yeah, it's basically like how much do I want to kill Eye of, the, Eye of the Dragon? And the answer is honestly not very much. I don't really care to kill that Eye of the Dragon. That card I care, to, I care about. I do want to kill that one. Poor Teemo. More for my collection. I hate playing against Teemo. Cause Teemo's like so fun to play and like it's so rewarding whenever you want pop caps that I like feel you know, I feel bad for shooting Teemo down. Alright, so I have the unspeakable horror, but I can't turn on the Nightfall unless I just throw away this Shroud of Darkness, which maybe it, maybe that's okay to throw away the Shroud of Darkness and get another Nightfall card in hand. Or I could just let Teemo hit me once. I'll scout ahead. And play out of the way. That's 
get that one out of the way. So two out of four. Just grab a gem. The key guardian and I the dragon. My fists. What is gained when you return malevolence? All right, so we're gonna hit. Perfect. So we're gonna have the spell shield for the Cygnus. Exactly what I wanted. So now, you know, like we have the elusive blockers, and this is elusive blocker with spell shield. Extra hands never hurt. Ah, there we go. I think we had that one. Especially after they missed. All right, playing against Eve. Yeah, I feel bad play beating up on Teemo, but I'm very surprised that we've played three games and that all three games we've had out of the way and out of the way has been, you know, very, very useful. All three games. It's been, um, been pleasantly surprised with that. Looks just fine. Nothing special, but has like our early stuff that good way good ways to set up our nightfall cards later. Perfect. Love the nocturne. As I say, we need to start drawing the nightfall cards though, especially nocturne. And so love that nocturne draw. <laughs> Our deck's literally just a tier one nightfall deck with two crap cards. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, basically. Um, out of the way and uh, the Shroud of Darkness. I guess. I like this. And so now. You know, they heal their Nexus for two, but they're already at 20. And the Mountain Goat can attack if they block. They again heal their Nexus for two, but they're at 20. Their sense travels on the night air. Let's try this. I don't want to play both onlookers because of Withering Whale. These aisles will be cleansed. No more hiding. Yeah. Okay. I guess this turn, I think I just want to play the Mountain Goat and the Doom Beast. I think that's what I want to do with my 5 mana. I'm expecting my 4 2 Mountain Goat to die to the Sapling or the Jaw Hunters. Then I was thinking, yeah, I guess basically the, the Crescent Guardian, my 4 2 and 5 2, they should both be dead. So I guess I, or should I save the 5-2? Maybe I just save the 5-2 instead of playing Doom Beast. Yeah, I guess I should. Yeah, I guess I should. Ooh, love that. There is, I like keeping the gem. 
Well, I guess now we have two gems. I say I like keeping the gem to be able to play so we have the Nightfall cards turned on. Give me the stuff! Stuff makes happy! I am definitely hoping no Withering Wheel. Nocturne needs three to attack. I guess I could just play Nocturne now. No, because they could have another Dread Dread Bloom Wanderer. Just how much do I want to walk into Withering Wheel? Yeah, I really hope they don't have Withering Wheel. This is my this is my best, like most aggressive line. Blood and guts, golden glory. Cool. No Withering Whale. And so Nocturne should finish this out. They will all scream as one. GG's. Nocturne's quite good. Alright, our deck's pretty fearsome. We are 4 and 0, oh, so we're going on over to rank. Let's take it on over there. Ooh, this could be tough. This is going to be a race. They're fast aggro. We are slower aggro. Don't need the spell shield. I don't think. Um, I love the one drops. The Shade Stalker, 2 mana, 2 3. Hmm. I like that it's a two drop, but two, three. Um, yeah, I guess so. All right, we'll just keep it. Time for the main event. Yeah, I'm out of play. You cannot hold us down. Okay, trade those. And we'll go like soldier into onlooker this turn. The sun rock got me good. Ooh, good vision. Yeah, I mean, they just get to trade with one of these. I guess not that great of vision. So I, I have four cards, they have four cards, but then we have a 2 2 in play. Of course, one of our cards is just Dust Petal Dust, so not really a card. No champions, please. Draven and Jinx are going to be really tough to beat. That's a champion, unfortunately. That is a champion. They are at eleven. Now we're cooking. Hmm. So they gotta have crowd favorite, right? That's the reason to do that. Yep. I stand for Noxus. I gotta work with this Joker. Ideally, we'd play out of the way before Solari Soldier. But maybe we don't actually have time for that. Crescent Guardian. On 
autographs after the fight, kid. Uh, autographs after? Oh, God. <laughs> Don't love playing either of these Nightfall cards first. Out of the way was good in the first three games, but our opponent's deck is much more aggressive, so take, spending five mana on the card has a bigger downside. So they have another vision than just everything trades. You can pretty much expect another vision. Time for the money. The reason why we could expect a vision was because of the attack out. Let's really hope the last card's not Jinx. If it's Jinx, we certainly lose. If it's not, maybe we have a chance. Cool. So maybe we have a chance. Top deck jinx. You should try blinking sometime. That's too bad. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Another vision. Now we're cooking. Well, we had a chance. We are doing it. Before jinx, but after jinx, I mean, I guess. Maybe we still have a chance. My beautiful face. We need to draw vengeance. Now it's a party. Yuck. Not that card. So right now, like crowd favorite can do four, a rocket, or sorry, seven, a rocket does another four, so that's eleven. That would put us to one. They obviously have the spinning axe, so just Basically just like going to attacks right now with Spinning Axe and then casting the other thing and then Rocket. What's the worst that could happen? Could kill me. What science without a little risk? Alright, this definitely kills me. <sighs> GG's great jinx draw. All right, so four and one. Really? We looked kind of good, honestly, like whenever they had like that empty hand, like right before they drew that Jinx, they only had the one card that turned out to be in the third vision. But they drew, they drew the Jinx. Yeah, that's that's a matchup where you where you can't really afford to play out of the way. Um, that you know you can't you can't afford to take turn four off playing out of the way like we did that, that just drew a card and didn't do anything else. Um, yeah, that's <clears throat> that shows where you can't play it. But the first three games I was very impressed with how out of the way did in the other matchups. I was very impressed with that card there. So pretty fun, just just a little, uh, you know, took like a good Nightfall deck and uh, threw a little wrench in it, threw some spice with that out of the way, and that was pretty fun. All right, anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, leave those comments. I always love seeing those comments, and they really help out the channel, so please leave those. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some out-of-the-way Nightfall. I appreciate it, and I'll see you for the next video.